the Lord's Supper. Story number five in getting ready for the second Easter. Hey, wait a minute. The Lord's Supper, not my supper. And no, not your supper either, Anna. The Lord's Supper. We call it that, and you can remember that we base communion on it, but it really happened. On a Thursday, just like today. On a Thursday before the first Easter, and we're going to celebrate our second Easter together this Sunday. That would be May the 2nd. But right now, let's tell the story of what Jesus did way back on that first Easter. Let's tell it slowly. Jesus' people called it Passover. They called it a holiday meal for all of Jesus' people. And one food they ate was lamb. No, not ravioli and cheese and salad. They would eat roasted lamb. They would drink wine or juice. And what they did was celebrate that way, way back in the Old Testament, the angel of death would pass over God's people and God's people stayed alive. You can find it on page 252 in your Kingstone Bible, 252, 252, and 253, and 254, and then stop. We'll stop right there. It's in volume three. I probably should have said that first. That's 252 in volume three. Or you can find it in Luke chapter 22, verse 7 through 23. Luke chapter 22, verses 7 through 23. The Last Supper. Then came the day of Passover, says the Bible. A special day for Jesus, a holiday like our Thanksgiving. And at that Passover, Jesus sat at the table with his disciples. Look! And Jesus, our Lord, said, I've been looking forward to sharing this Passover feast with you. You see, I will not eat again, not until everything is fulfilled in the kingdom of God. Jesus knew he was about to die. He knew it was the last supper because it was his last meal before he died. So Jesus got up from the table and he took the towel that he'd been wearing around his shoulder and waist right off his head and he moved it to his middle and all the disciples looked at him and wondered, what is he doing? And he knelt down on the ground and he took a pan of water and he took each foot of each disciple and he put it in the water and washed it with soap and dried it with that towel that was around his middle. Hey, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? That's a servant's work, said John. Don't you wash my feet? You're not my servant. You're my Lord. Don't do it, Jesus. And Jesus said, I will do it. But when it's finished, when everything is ready, you will understand exactly why I do this for you. If I do not wash your feet, said Jesus, if I do not wash your feet, then you will not have any part with me. Oh, then yes, Lord, do my feet, do my hands, do my head. Wash everything, Jesus, make me clean. A person who has already taken a bath does only need to wash their hands and feet. That's what gets dirty before your next bath. The rest of him is already clean. You are already clean, my servant. But sometimes... 
you wash your hands and your feet. Do you understand this? Do you understand what I'm doing? Said Jesus. You call me rabbi, teacher, Lord, and I am your rabbi, your teacher, your Lord. But now your rabbi, your teacher, your Lord has gone and washed your feet. No servant is greater than the master, and I am the master. If I did this, you should do it for each other. You should serve each other. You should wash each other's feet. And help each other. Although I am speaking about all of you. But not every single one of you. One of you who shared this bread. Will lift up his feet again. His heel against me. One of you at this very table. Is going to betray me. Turn me in. Get me crucified. Woe to him. It would be better for him if he'd never been born, said Jesus. Who? Who's going to do this thing, said the disciples to their master who'd just washed their feet. Ask him. Ask him who's going to do it. Who, Lord? Who is it? It is the one who puts his hand in the dish with me as we now eat and drink our Passover. It is the one I give this piece of bread to. And he gave the bread to Judas. Lord, is it I? said Judas. Yes, you, said the Lord Jesus. Go. Go quickly. Do what you're going to do. Where's he going? Mm, probably just to get more food. Uh, maybe. Maybe he's going to help the poor. Guys, it was Judas. He was not going to help the poor. You got all this? Did you see the part where Jesus washed the disciples' feet? He told them they were already clean, Christian. That's kind of like baptism. They'd already been washed from their sins. A symbol of baptism. They were clean. But even after we get saved and we're baptized and washed from our sins, even after we get baptized with the Holy Spirit, you know and I know sometimes we still sin. Sometimes I try not to, but sometimes I still tell a lie. Sometimes I still eat way too much. That's a sin because God doesn't want me to, to get unhealthy and not use my body right. So I need to go back to Jesus, but I don't need to be saved again. I don't need to get a whole bath or get baptized again. I need him to wash my hands and I need him to wash my feet. Say, Jesus, I have sinned. But you already died for me.